Hello, welcome to another Facebook Friday. It's another Frilici Friday. It's funny, the dogs, they're both here today. And when I said hello, they both popped up like, what's going on, who's here? I'm like, no, 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 no boys, you can relax. They're both like sunning themselves right now. It's super cute. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful and sunny outside. So welcome, welcome. Yes, like I said, another Facebook Friday for Lychee Friday. Uh, so hopefully you guys are all doing well. Hey, Erin, it was good to see you. I think it was just last night, wasn't it? It feels like longer ago than that already. So, and hey, Jamie, welcome, welcome. So glad you guys can all pop on. Hey, Nikki, hello, welcome, ladies. I feel like, it's funny, um, I was worried about, sorry, I'm going to like move this a little bit. My um, clamp, like holder thingy is a little bit loose and... I don't know, I felt like it was like up too high. So I'm like, hopefully <laughs> nothing falls out, right? So yes, yes, welcome, welcome ladies. So if you guys have never joined me before for a Facebook Friday, Facebook Live, I typically generally go live every Friday right here at the Stamp Studio Facebook group uh, at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're watching later and you're not as busy as maybe you normally would be with the whole stay at home, stay safe thing going on right now, right? Um, put a note on your calendar. Come hang out with me next Friday, 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. I will be right here. So yeah, we uh, pretty much every Friday I pick, um, usually it's like a stamp set or a bundle, but this week I actually picked as my product of the week, the best dressed designer series paper. So I just have to flash this up here because this is, I was saying like, I love this paper. So this is just one half of the patterns, right? Hey, Charlene. So here are six sheets front um, and back side. You get four of each of these sheets in this pack of designer series paper. And here are the other six sheets right here. And then there's the front, hey Philomena. And then there's the back of those, right? So um, yeah, I decided this has been one of my absolute favorite packs of designer series paper because I love all the beautiful florals, especially for springtime right now. So in my mind, I save the best for last. We are getting closer to the end of our annual catalog and our spring mini catalog. Um, just thinking ahead a little bit, probably in the next, I don't know, week or two, we will be hearing about, hey Debbie, we'll be hearing about the retiring lists coming up also. Um, so something to keep in mind if you're, um, you know, like I said, I'm saving the best for last with this with this designer series paper, but don't wait. If you love it, you know, things will start to sell out once the retiring lists come out. Um, I will keep you guys updated right here on our Facebook group. I'll email about it too. So whatever your best, best method of getting information, I'll try to get that out to you. Post it on my blog too um, when those retiring lists come out. So keep that in mind. Um, <clears throat> it's a great time to just get what you want right now while you still can, while everything is still available. Hey Kathy, welcome, glad you can join us. So back to what I was saying about our product of the week. Every single week on uh, the Stamp Studio Facebook group, I pick a product of the week. We feature projects and give you some fun information and ideas about our product of the week all week long on our Facebook group. And then on Friday, today, we make cute projects with our product of the week. So we'll be doing that a little bit later. I think I missed a hello to Kay there. Good morning, ladies. Um, and Philomena, thank you for sharing too. Um, yeah, so a little bit later on, we will actually be making projects with our product of the week. The um, best dressed designer series paper. Okay, and it's so funny, as I turn my head sideways, I'm like, oh, I shouldn't put my head down. Cause I was laughing with a friend last night that like uh, next week is is when I go, um, one of my, my, one of my, it was um, the gal that did my hair when I lived out in Denver, she used to always say, you're back to natural. And next week was gonna be my, um, back to natural hair appointment. I'm like, how long are we gonna, like how bad are the roots gonna get through all of this, right? I've seen other people posting about that too. And I have one friend that is a hairdresser and she's like, I'm not gonna color my hair either. I'm gonna be just like my all my clients. I'm gonna like show my natural, whatever it is. Um, until you know she can get back in her salon also. So kind of crazy, but it, it's funny how like you see, um, yeah, so hopefully you guys aren't seeing you. I'm going to keep my head way up high so you can't see my roots. <laughs> hey, good morning, Sharon. Glad you can join us. So sorry. I know I always get off on tangents. So what else did I want to say? Oh, I know. 
So after Facebook Live, you will be able to see pictures of the projects that we make here on Facebook Live. Um, I will give you the product names and item codes of everything that we use, colors, dimensions, all of that. So if you wanna make these projects on your own or if you need to order some things to make them, that'll be all on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com, okay? Um, oh, the other thing too is I always offer the make and takes for free with just at least a $30 order. You will get the make and takes or if you want to get to get the completed cards. I've kind of gone back and forth on that, so now I'm basically just asking. When somebody puts an online order of at least $30, do you want the make and takes and make them yourself with your own stamps and ink, or do you want the completed cards? Because some people want to have the fun of making them, and other people are like, ah, completed cards are good. So I'm just trying to be flexible and easy. So yeah, so if you put in an online order, you can get the projects that we're going to demonstrate in a little bit too. So, okay, um, hopefully you guys are all doing well, right? I know um, at least here in Michigan, we had awesome, beautiful, sunny day yesterday, and today is supposed to be more of the same. And I live right in town, and it's fun because you see lots of people out walking. You can tell, like, friends that, like, don't live together, they're, like, the six feet apart, like, walking down the sidewalk or the road. Like, they're chatting away, you know, but they're, they've got their so social distance, so... Um, yeah, it's just, at least here in Michigan, it's nice to be able to get outside finally, and the sun just makes everything that much better. So hopefully you guys are all doing okay and staying safe, right? I know it's so hard to stay inside. Um, I think just to get up and move though, like be active in your house, um, or to, you know, get out and walk, um, just to get that fresh air too helps, I think it helps your spirit so much. So yeah, that's my little, I don't know, um, encouragement for the day is get up and be active and get some fresh air every day if you can, because I think that just helps our mood so very much. So yeah, anyway, hopefully you guys are all doing well and I'm just glad, you know, this doesn't change Facebook Live. We can do it every single Friday. Nothing changes around here, that's for sure. So hey, Denise, welcome, Congratul or not congratulations, but welcome. I'm glad, congratulations on finding me on Facebook Live. <laughs> Anyway, I'm glad you guys can all join me. So, okay, let me look at my notes. Um, let's just jump right in, although I already feel a tickle in my throat, so I gotta grab a quick sip of water. Mm. Oh, and the other funny thing I was trying to find, so I laugh, like pretty much everything I own is gray. It's like some shade of gray, and like that's what I wear all winter long, so I was like, trying to go through my closet. I'm like, it's this beautiful sunny day. I got to find like a spring shirt. So this is all I could come up with. I have like two spring shirts, I feel like. So you might see this one regularly. <laughs> hey, Angeline, how are you? And Nancy, yay. I'm so glad everybody can hop on here with me today. So let's jump right in. I have lots of names. I decided since everybody is, you know, spending lots of time on social media, a couple times a year, I do like a Facebook ad and um, I'm trying to, you know, find new friends to hang out and stay up with me, watch our Facebook Lives, um, sign up for my email list also. So I've got lots and lots of names, people that I have not met before or maybe haven't even watched us on Facebook Live. So anybody new subscribing to my email list, their name is in here. And then the other awesome thing is when you share the video, your name goes in here as well. So lots and lots and lots of names. I got to shake them around because I feel like some of them are kind of stuck together. So, okay. So, and this will be the same next week to share the video, sign up for my email list in your name. Oh, hey, what are we drawing for? Let's do that real quick. Sorry, I got to separate those two. That's bugging me. They get all like stuck together. Um, so the awesome Rococo Rose scalloped linen ribbon there. Now, not not a glare. Haha, <laughs> yes, you can actually watch today, Angeline. I know that's what's kind of fun about this, you know, whole sheltering in, in place at home kind of a thing. Hey, Susan, glad you can be here with me too. Um, yeah, I feel like we'll get more people that can actually watch the live. Um, or what I am realizing, I know I wasn't very good at explaining this last week, um, but hey, Bonnie, yay! Oh my gosh, all these fun people are on. Thank you. And hey, Amy, hello. Oh my gosh, you guys are like making my day. Um, I was saying I've been doing these workouts on um, a Facebook Live um, every morning. You guys, normally I wasn't working out seven days a week, but I'm like, well, I mean, I have the time, so I might as well. Um, but it was making me realize, because she does a 5 a.m. workout and an 8 a.m. workout, and um, 
I don't get up at 5 a.m. And sometimes the timing, like maybe I might get up at 7 so I can go back and do the 5 a.m. workout when I get up at 7. Or on weekends, if I get up even later, I can do the 8 o'clock workout at like 8.30 or 9 or, you know, whenever I get up. But so it's been awesome. Like I'm understanding, you know, people can't make it to the live right here at 11.30. Um, I love that you can watch it whenever it's convenient for you too. So that's the beauty of Facebook and these lives is that they're always here too. So I'm missing, I think I'm missing some hellos. So hello to anybody that popped on so okay so we're gonna draw right now I know I'm always off on these tangents sorry guys I just get so excited it's like I kind of wake up when I get on Facebook live or something so and my dogs are like okay yep she's just talking to she's talking out the window that's what it looks like to them <laughs> okay so all right we're gonna draw for the Rococo Rose scalloped linen ribbon share the video sign up for my email list and your name goes in here every single week okay so Oh, they're all like, they're all kind of, gotta get one. Okay, there we go. Ooh, Miss Myrna, Z oops, and I'm dropping it. Zayas, it's Z-A-Y-A-S. So Myrna, if you are watching, congratulations. If you are watching later, maybe congratulations as well. And Myrna, I will need to get your mailing address so that I can get the ribbon sent out to you. So send me a message or you can comment on here too. And um, yeah, no, send me a message. You don't wanna put your address out. Um, email me or send me a message with your address and I will get your ribbon sent out to you. So hey, Sally, welcome everybody. All right, so we're gonna scoot those out of the way. So let me show you guys. I gotta put the names in there for the next drawing too, but um, let me show you what we are gonna give away. Uh, yeah, I wanna open this, I meant to do this earlier. So this is, sorry, I've got another one of mine that hasn't opened, so this will be mine and I'll send you one that's not open when you win next week, right? So this is, this is the Daffodil Delight, the Ruched Ribbon. So can you see it's kind of ruched, it's like a little bit gathered, but it, it's really um, nice and easy to work with too. So you can see like you can tie a pretty bow with this and it's it was on back order for a while so I wasn't even really using it but it's not on back back order anymore so we can play with this pretty ribbon can you guys sorry it's all like curled up but you can kind of see the idea you can make it it's just really easy to work with sometimes the satiny ribbons that are kind of slidey aren't as easy to work with but this is an awesome just a fun bright springy yellow ribbon so we will be giving this away on next Friday's Facebook live comment, uh, not comment, but share the video and sign up for my email list and we will draw for this next week. I keep feeling like I'm getting this tickle in my throat too. That's going to drive me crazy. <clears throat> okay, I showed you all the paper. Yes. Okay. So we had a couple of more Inkspired Stampers join our team by the starter kit. It just in the nick of time, Tuesday night at midnight was the end of celebration. So I want to welcome, I have a couple of new team members, Tammy Stewart and Talitha Penny. Congratulations on getting that awesome starter kit deal. Now, just so you guys know, even though celebration is done, the starter kit deal is always awesome. It's just a little extra special awesome during celebration. Um, and they, they will usually do some kind of a starter kit deal again at some point this year. They used to do them all the time, so it kind of got to be like, oh, no big deal. Um, now they don't do them quite as often. So, But with that being said, the starter kit deal, if you ever go to put like a $100 order in, you might as well get the starter kit. That's kind of like a the good cutoff point that I try to always teach like anybody in my team, any of my Inkspired stampers. If anybody ever comes to you with a $100 order, tell them about the starter kit because it's a better deal for them and then they can get a 20% discount off of everything they order after that. So the regular starter kit deal that's happening now and is always happening, um, unless there's an extra special deal, you get to pick $125 in product and you pay only $99 plus sales tax whatever your sales tax is in your state. So for example, in Michigan, you pick $125 in product. Normally you'd pay 10% uh, shipping, so $12.50 and 6% sales tax. I don't have the total number, but $125, $12, $137. It's gotta be over $140, $140, $145. With the starter kit, you pick $125. You only pay $99 plus sales tax, so it's $104.94 in Michigan. 
So you could pay $140 for a $100 order, or you could pay $104.94 for a $125 order. So it's kind of a no-brainer. So whenever you um, you know want to put a big order in, let me know. I would be happy to help you get the starter kit set up. It's super simple. There's no obligation to put orders in after that, but it's kind of like, why wouldn't you? Because you get 20% off of everything that you order. So it's really a no-brainer. There's no pressure. It's just easy. Stampin' Up! is easy to be a part of. So, hey, Deb, welcome. I'm glad you can join us. So let me know if you ever have questions on that. But again, I wanted to say a warm welcome to Tammy and Talitha, new members of our Inkspired Stampers. And then the other thing I was noticing, I was going through our month end reports from March, which are not finalized yet, so I think I have all my details, but you never know, they might make changes. Um, anyway, in the meantime, I just realized that Aaron Miller and Jamie Sanders, who just bought the starter kit earlier during celebration, have already had enough sales to meet their $300 quarterly minimum. So congratulations to Aaron and Jamie on already meeting their first $300 quarterly minimum. So, and that's just another thing. Um, if you buy the starter kit, you need to have sales of $300 each quarter to kind of keep up your demonstrator status. If you don't, no big deal, your demo ID drops. You just can't get onto the Stampin' Up! website anymore and get like all the hot new news early like we can as demonstrators. So, but nothing else awful happens. I promise, I promise. Um, I know I'm like moving right along. I need another sip of water. Maybe I haven't, probably because I haven't been talking as much lately. No classes or anything, right? So, well, hello, Lisa. I'm glad you can join us. I think you usually catch us later. So what fun that you can catch us on the live today, too. And thank you. Yeah, things are going well. Trying to just stay positive. It's always easier when the sun is shining. That's for sure. So, <clears throat> all right, give me one sec. I feel like this is going to be one of those days when I need a peppermint. Well, maybe I will. We'll see. Okay, what's next? Ooh, okay, let's do our drawing for, so last week, if you put an online order in of at least $30, you automatically are gonna get these two cards. These are the cards that I demonstrated on last week's Facebook Live. They're beautiful, the tulips. So last week we featured the Timeless Tulips bundle as our product of the week, and then we made these cards on Facebook Live. <coughs> oh my goodness, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm gonna grab a mint. Hold on one sec. <coughs> I think I have one handy here. It's gonna be that kind of a day. Okay. There. Okay. So we'll try that. I have a little something to soothe my throat, apparently. <coughs> you know, it's you always get more like self-conscious too on these videos, I think. Okay, I'm just gonna try to ignore it. So anyway, okay, yeah. So back to if you put an online order in last week of at least $30, you automatically are gonna get these cards or the make and takes. If you wanna have the fun of stamping and putting the cards together yourself, let me know. So you get those cards and then your name is going in the drawing to win the awesome Rise and Shine stamp set. This is a fun photopolymer um, reversible stamp set. So this is one stamp that has, you can just flip it over and stamp one going that way and one going that way. And same thing with all of those. So fun stamp set. So if you put your order in of at least $30, last week plus you probably participated in the buy one get one free sale which was awesome thank you guys so much that was a great way to end celebration too um because i'm stressing a little bit about not having my live classes basically you know for it's gonna be at least six weeks i think so the end of march and all of april now uh so yeah <laughs> i was like okay maybe i should just keep the bogo event going through the whole month of april i don't know if you guys are interested let me know i haven't put everything away so we could certainly do that so okay anyway in the meantime we are drawing for the rise and shine stamp set i know i love that stamp set too uh susan i didn't get to play with it very much though but it is super cute and i love that the dyes those cup of cheers dyes work as well okay i think i've talked enough and shaken the names around enough and <laughs> the winner is Miss Angeline Apsey. And I, maybe you are watching. I know I saw your name pop up earlier. So congratulations, Angeline. It's so funny. She always has the best luck. She always says that too, that she's like super lucky. And when I was putting these names in here, I had that thought last night of like, I wonder if Angeline, not that her name is not the only one in here because I would never, ever, ever do that. But 
It's just funny how I was like, she always has really good luck. And then look at that. She had good luck again. So congratulations, Angeline. I will get that stamp set sent out to you. Okay, so this week, your name is going to go in the drawing to win. I've got new stuff, you guys. So have you seen? Hey, Julie. Hello, hello. Welcome. This is the brand new from the next annual catalog that will start in June, but they actually had like a kind of a pre-release of the, what are they calling it? The Ornate Garden Suite. So this is the Ornate Thanks stamp set. So you guys are all so sweet to congratulate, Angeline. Um, this stamp set is one that you can actually buy now. So last month in April, demonstrators could order um, all of this product from the, what is it called? The Ornate Garden Suite. I don't have these names yet. Always takes me a while. Anyway, so this is one of the stamp sets that is in there and I just have to tell you guys about it. So we've got a thank you, so grateful and thanks. And then all these other, oh, this is cute. There's a little why thanks, right? Uh, thanks, my friend. Seriously, thanks. How about ever? Thanks ever so much. I'm thankful or I'm so grateful, maybe. From the bottom of my heart, I wasn't sure how to thank you, maybe, right? Uh, thank you for everything. Um, just wanted to say thank you. Your kindness is so loved. What else we have? For all your help, thanks or thank you, right? You're amazing, thank you from all of us, thank you, and for all you do, thank you. So lots of cute, um, like whimsical cursive writing on that stamp set too. So again, if you put at least a $30 order and there's a new host code for April, it's on my blog, always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. The other thing that I've started to do is in the details, um, kind of like the title above this, this Facebook Live video, I put the host code in there too. So if you can't find it, look above this video, like, you know, above, right? <laughs> when I'll edit later after we have, after we're done with Facebook Live, I go back and edit and give you lots of details in there. One of those details is the host code, or you can always find it on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. But if you put at least a $30 order in using the host code, your name is gonna go in the drawing to win the awesome new ornate thanks stamp set. So, and this is also one, if you don't win, you can order this. I'll go through, I'm gonna kind of show you guys everything that's in that suite that I have. I'll show you that. We're gonna do that when I um, flip the camera down so I can show you a little bit better because I know this is all backwards too. So, hey Roseanne, how are you? So glad you guys can all be here. So yeah, next week we'll draw for the Ornate Thanks stamp set, okay? Um, ooh, okay, one more quick reminder because I know I was talking about retiring lists coming out. So again, if you didn't hear me earlier, those will be coming out in April. It's usually like kind of mid, mid to later. I haven't heard anything about it unless it's on the website this morning and I didn't see it yet. Um, anyway, we will be, as soon as we know about retiring lists, I will let you know, but now's the time. If there's anything that you know that, oh, I just couldn't live without whatever, stamp set, paper, ribbon, um, bundle, punches, whatever it is, order it now so you don't have to worry about whether you can get it once it hits the retiring list. Because you know, stuff always sells out quickly on the retiring list. Like the, this is um, a sample of the In Color 2018-20 In Color Designer Series paper, okay? So we have, I'll start from the front here. This is Grapefruit Grove, Blueberry Bushel, Pineapple Punch, Lovely Lipstick, and Call Me Clover. Those five in colors are going to be retiring. So if you need cardstock, right? If you need more cardstock, any of these colors, um, if you need the ink refills, if you want the ribbon, the embellishments, any of that stuff, order it now so you don't have to worry about um, things disappearing before your very eyes on the retiring list, okay? And it always makes me excited though. So these colors are going away, right? But what colors will they bring in in their place? Hey, Sunday, welcome, welcome. Hope you are doing, hope everybody's doing well, right? So yeah, but I, I'm always like, what colors are they gonna bring in in place of these? So it's always kind of a fun time. It's sad to see these colors go and then it's kind of exciting to see what new colors we will have to play with soon. So, okay, I think I have done lots of talking and everything else I wanna show you guys Let's make sure, <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna flip the camera down. Yeah, 
Let's do that, okay? So turn your heads away for a moment and we're gonna fly through the air. And that seems, sorry, let's just adjust this before I flip it around. Maybe that'll help. Okay, there we go. Oh, and we've got the sun. Look at that glare, huh? Uh-huh, big glare today. That's all right though. We like the sun. Sorry, woo. <laughs> I'm trying to get things adjusted a little bit. So that's my water bottle, my turquoise water bottle that's reflecting off of that. We are gonna scoot just a little bit. There we go, we'll try that. Okay, so I just had to show you guys one more time. This was our product of the week, right? The stripes, I love the stripes. And actually, I love pretty much, I think I love all of the florals too, right? So we've got, I wanna show you guys in a little bit more detail too, right? Because I just think this paper is so pretty. You can tell it's six by six paper, right? Just so you guys know that. So here, you can get a little bit better. These kind of look pretty similar, don't they? Well, yes and no, right? Okay, so there's one side of the paper, beautiful florals. And I think what didn't attract me at first was I, I wasn't, I'm not like a big makeup, perfume, shoe girl. I admire those people that are, I wish I was, but I'm, I'm like, I'm just not that fancy. I'm like more casual, <laughs> I would say. So I, I wasn't as excited about maybe this side of the paper, but I do have to tell you now after playing with all the florals and then like kind of seeing the backsides of all of these, it's gotten me like more excited. Like the purses, I mean, I am a purse girl. I do love purses. I don't buy a million of them, but these are so cute. Like, look at all those purses. And the shoes, I don't ever wear high heels. Like, oh my God, I would probably hurt myself if I... <laughs> anyway, hey, Diana. Um, but these are cute. Like, I, I'm seeing how we can have some fun with, like, the purses and the shoes, the perfume, the lipstick. And then they've got some little polka dots and um, kind of diagonal stripes there, too. Okay, so that's one half of the paper. And then here, let's take a little bit closer look at the other half. Because it's one thing to kind of see it... Um, uh, like online. They do a nice job of showing it, but I think you can see even a little bit better. So again, florals and more fun stripes. There's something about those stripes that really I love. And then here is the back side of these. Hello, Miss Darlene. So again, we've got some makeup brushes and makeup. We've got some more lipstick and makeup, shoes. Oh, this is perfume, perfume bottles. This is kind of fun, huh? You can see for the girly girls, right? And then some polka dots, and then I love that really soft floral on that one as well. Can you see that? Um, this is uh, Purple Posy. It's a color that doesn't, it doesn't, uh, photograph is really difficult. It doesn't show up quite as well, maybe in video, video and photographs, but it's beautiful live. So anyway, just a beautiful um, pack of paper. You get four of each of these sheets. So you get 48 sheets, four of, each of 12 designs front and back side. So that has been our product of the week all week, right? Now I have to tell you guys about, because I finally got everything all designed. I've kind of been like a little bit mysterious about our retreat in a box, right? So I can't really, I can't show you guys all this stuff. I'm gonna show you a little bit, just so you know. So the retreat in a box, let me get my notes. I had said the deadline was going to be, um, let's see, it was supposed to be on Tuesday next week, but I'm going to extend it to next Friday the 10th. So if you thought like, I don't know, what's a retreat in a box, right? Basically, you get a goodie bag of product. So basically fun product that you can use on your make and takes. And then I also show you some fun little, um, what I call like pillow gifts, like little gifts that are made with some of the items from your goodie bag. So you can see like make and takes will show you what you could do with items in your goodie bag. And then the little treats will be as well. And I'll make videos for any of the treats too. So you can watch those later and put things together. Um, if you think you want to make cute treats like I have made in here also. What I want to do is just kind of give you a little sneak peek. So for example, the goodie bag is going to feature 
a full pack of the Best Dress Designer Series paper, a full pack of the Noble Peacock Rhinestones. I absolutely love these things, especially all the fun colors because you can really kind of bend them to be whatever, whatever color you need them to be. And they're not showing. They're, they're so sparkly and beautiful. I don't feel like you're getting that full effect in the video either. You are going to get actually just a little sample of the tassels. So cute. Monica, oh, you're thinking about getting it. Yeah, let me know if you have any questions. You're going to get a little sample of the little tassels as well and then you're going to get a half a pack and I should have opened these I'm not going to open these right now but the super cute these are little note cards and envelopes um, the little best dressed note cards and envelopes They're, they are super duper cute and then we've got make and takes and pillow gifts oh you also get a full bolt of the polka dot tool love this white tool ribbon is awesome and then I just I can't show you anymore right I have to just kind of have a little sneaky peek here for you guys but fun fun projects that you can make and then cute treats that I'll send to you as well um what else do you guys need to know oh I know stamp sets that I used and again as long as you have so I use the so sentimental stamp set and then the dressed to impress stamp set the sentiments only well I did use some floral images too. So you can, if you don't have those stamp sets, I can get those ordered for you and send them with your retreat in a box. Or if you have other stamp sets, if you wanna just kind of wait and see um, if you have what you need to make them, that's fine too. Cause you, you probably have some floral images and some sentiment stamp sets that you could use. So either way, if you wanna get new stuff, great. Or if you wanna use what you have, that's great. Then I used three ink pad colors. I used Gorgeous Grape, Daffodil Delight and Old Olive on the make and takes, okay? So the retreat in a box, basically here's like your retreat in a box right here, right? It's $45 for you to pick up here locally in Alma. If you need it shipped to you, because I want to make sure everything stays intact, I put it in a priority mail box. So it's a little bit more expensive. So it's actually $60 to ship the box to you. Because I, like I said, I want to make sure everything comes intact and perfect as if I could put it out on the table for you if you came to the retreat. So if you have any questions, let me know. I would love to get one of these retreats in a box sent out to you. And again, RSVPs are due next Friday, April 10th. Okay, I've been emailing about it too. So more details on there if you have any questions. Oh, I've been trying to mention my phone number too. I would be happy to take phone calls or texts if you have questions. My phone number is 989-330-0259. Okay, so that you have that if you ever need to get a hold of me, especially because we're all stuck at home a lot right now, right? Um. Oh, okay, the other thing I want to show you guys is the new product from the ornate garden suite so let's turn it this way so i um don't have the dies yet i'm working on those i try to kind of stay within my budget so i was able to get the stamp set so this is the ornate thanks set that we're going to give away on next week's facebook live so you can see a little bit better here right all of the, it's like a builder thank you and then you can add one of these other little um sentiments to the thank you so an awesome thank you stamp set right and then there are the ornate or this is the ornate style stamp set beautiful floral imagery right and i love oh i always love those little scrolly kind of things like that too kind of put them in the corner of a, a card or on your envelope or something these are going to be great to color with your uh, blends, your Stampin' Blends, maybe your blender pens if you want a little bit more watercolor kind of effect, but beautiful, beautiful stamp set, right? And you can kind of see the imagery in this stamp set is coordinating with some of this designer series paper. We'll get to that in just a sec. Um, I have to show you the Ornate Floral 3D Embossing Folder. So they do a good job of trying to kind of show you the detail that you are going to get on that embossing folder. 3D, again, so it's a little bit thicker embossing folder. Then we have the Gilded Gems. So they are, to me, they kind of look like a rhinestone, but they're like a gold, like a beautiful shimmery gold instead. And again, I don't think you're getting how beautiful they are in this video. This is actually going to be my free embellishment too. So you know how I was talking about putting your order in? If you bump your order up to $50, you can either get a package of the Gilded Gems or the... Um, 
April demo design dream team PDF tutorial. You pick either one of those, either the embellishment or the PDF tutorial. When you bump your order up to $50, you can get either one of those for free. But these, so I'm trying to order a bunch of these too. So when I get my, um, you know, if there's an online order of $50 and you want these, I have them all ready to go out to you because I hate making you guys wait. I love to like get everything sent out as quickly as I can. So trying to get a little stockpile on those and hopefully they don't like go on back order or sell out or anything. And then we have some ribbon. This is called the Ornate Garden Ribbon Combo Pack. And I will put the item codes for everything that I'm showing you on uh, my blog too at gatheringinspiration.com. The other thing, honestly, if you go to stampinup.com, this is the first banner you can you're gonna see when you click on shop when you go to stampinup.com. They're definitely promoting this new ornate garden suite. So if you click on that, you can see pictures and item codes for everything as well. But I will make sure they're on my blog too. Um, but this is the ribbon combo pack and I think we have old olive and maybe Melon Mambo, but I'm thinking when I look on the back of this paper, it's gonna tell me. Actually, you know what, I've got, it might tell me on here too. Let's see. Oh, nope, Old Olive and Terracotta Tile. Not Melon Mambo, Terracotta Tile, which I guess that makes sense. It looks a little bit deeper, the color does, doesn't it? But this is, I think it looks a little bit, they're not telling me, but it looks a little bit satiny, almost. We might have to open this. Let's open it. I should have done that. It's one of those, what if I give it away? Then I don't like to have it open, but sorry. <laughs> I'll just have to keep this one and get another one. And you guys, now I'm now it's gonna be really annoying to get this off. This is how I usually, I try to use my snips, but I don't wanna like, there we go. I don't wanna cut the ribbon. Ooh, it's not, it's not satiny actually. I, it looked like shinier. It's really nice. This is gonna be an easy, here, let's see. This is gonna be an easy ribbon. Oh yeah, it's not cotton either. I don't know, I don't know what the fabric is, but that's gonna, yeah, that's gonna make great bows too and it's gonna stick, it's gonna like, you know, hold the bow. Sometimes, you know, they come apart a little bit, but oops. Yeah, okay, so there's our old olive, right? And then let's open this one up. It's funny how um, shiny they look. That was a lot faster, wasn't it? Good thing, let's get those out of here. So this is the terracotta tile. I This is funny because I think you could go Calypso Coral. I think this could go um, Grapefruit Grove because it doesn't seem to be quite as dark to me as a terracotta tile. But here, I'll show you again how easy it is to tie a bow with this too. Beautiful. I love this ribbon. It's funny because when I kind of saw it online, I was like, eh, that's okay. But I like it a lot more in person. So beautiful, right? I don't, I don't want to leave it It'll get all squinched up. So, okay. So ribbon, stamp sets, embellishments, dies, 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 dies. There are dies to go with both of these. Um, sorry. And I wish I had, um, you're not even going to be able to see this very well, but this is the ornate style stamp set. And these are the ornate layer dies. You maybe have seen these online already. Lots of beautiful detail around those dies. And then actually the other one is right here the ornate thanks stamp set and then the ornate border dies are the ones that go these are really pretty too all the little edgings there those are the dies that'll go in the bundle with the ornate thanks stamp set so beautiful stuff but let's take a look at so this is the ornate garden specialty designer series paper that uses what does that say it says like bumblebee i don't know ho 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 Ladies, we have, I was like, what's Bumblebee? That's got to be one of our new in colors. Ooh, this is like a little sneaky peek. Yeah. Okay. So can you see that Bumblebee? I was like, what is Bumblebee? That is one of our new colors. So Bumblebee, Early Espresso, Mint Macaron, Old Olive, Terracotta Tile, and Whisper White. Those are, oh my gosh, I'm like so excited. You guys, we know one of the in colors, bumblebee, huh? Okay, so it's gotta be some kind of a yellow, right? Maybe one of this, one of that, the really deep yellow, kind of maybe like a crushed curry, but even more so I'm thinking, right? Doesn't that, that's, maybe that's bumblebee right there. Oh my gosh, you guys, I didn't even plan this. I'm like so excited though. One of the new, see, right? We get to see one of the new in colors in our paper already. Okay, so can you guys see? So we get two sheets of that one this is so pretty the daisies too we all let's scoot this over a little bit more so you can kind of see about half and half right 
Oh, that's pretty also. So that's the back side of that one, right? That's kind of a terracotta tile. Oh, so cute. Yeah, and you guys, ooh, here, ooh, check that out. That's, that's why it's specialty, because it's got some gold. Ooh, that is really pretty, very sparkly in the light when I do it just right. So a little bit, not the others I don't think had any gold on them. So it looks like just the one sheet so far has the gold. Let's see what's on the back. Oh, yes. So this is a little bit like that other, um, the specialty DSP that we just had during celebration, only this is gold, kind of gold foil. Oh, the cute little flowers on there too. Very, very pretty, huh? Okay. Ooh, there's some more. Ooh, check out that sparkle. So the first few didn't have the gold foil, but now these all do. Okay, and I think we have one more pattern. More daisies, so cute and springy, right? Springy and summery. And then there's some more fun shimmer on that one. So awesome pack of paper. So you guys understand, right? You can get all of this stuff right now, early pre-order out of the next annual catalog. You can get the stamp sets, the dies, the DSP, the gilded gems, the ornate floral embossing folder, and this is a combo pack. You get both of those ribbons in there. So again, I'll put that all on my blog so you know what's going on, but fun new stuff. It's always it's always fun to get new stuff to play with, isn't it, you guys? So sorry, let's see. Ooh, will Bumblebee go with the Golden Honey DSP? Well, so the Golden Honey DSP is all gone, Sharon, so I'm sure you won't have to worry about that, but may maybe that means that Honey Bee stamp set and the bundle will carry over. You never know. You just never know. <laughs> Only Stampin' Up! knows, the people that um, designed the product. So, okay. I'm gonna show you a couple more cards made with our product of the week, that best dressed designer series paper, and then we will get to do our stamping. In the meantime though, actually, let me grab, mm, nope, I don't want that yet. I'm gonna put, this is our new host code. I'm just gonna put that right there. So this is the code that you're gonna to wanna to use when you shop online and maybe get your new ornate garden suite of products, right? Okay, so a couple more little sneaky peeks at cards. So these are cards that we made at our last downline meeting that feature the designer series paper and a fun fold. And apparently I even have my little love notes in there still um, to tell me the sizes of how to make that card too. So here's another one. Check out this one's kind of fun too, right? And then this is more the, the designer series paper. That's really why I'm showing you. I know beautiful, so many beautiful designer series paper, right? or patterns. So this is kind of a fun one, right? Looks kind of funny like that, but then you flip this up and it, oops, trying to get the little, um, there. Is that gonna, yeah, I want you to be able to read the sentiment. <laughs> there. Okay. So you can kind of see, there we go. Now you kind of see what it says. Wishing you every happiness this special day will bring. That's kind of a fun one, right? And then plus that designer series paper. So here's another, a little happy birthday. And this is one, this little piece just kind of slides out. But this might have been the one that I got a little aggressive with my um, snailing. And so I maybe went over a little far. So if you ever make a pocket card like this, make sure you don't <laughs> get the, there. Now I can kind of, so this just slips in and out, right? But you want to make sure your adhesive doesn't get too close. Okay, I can't even put it back in there. All right. Worry about that later. Don't get that too far over because then you can't get your little white piece in and out. But more, look at that beautiful designer series paper, right? Gorgeous. This is one of my favorite patterns of the paper, right? That beautiful purple, isn't that beautiful? Right, and then here's another one. We made this at card class recently with the stripes. You know, I was saying I love the stripes, right? And then this is actually um, my project for the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. So this project will be on that 16 project tutorial that you can get for free with your $50 order this whole month of April. So you can get all of the dimensions, everything you need to know on how to make that card right there. And again, more of the best dressed designer series paper. So beautiful, beautiful pack of paper. It is my all time favorite in the spring mini catalog. Okay. Here we go. Just put to that. Is that going to be all right there? Are we in view there? Let me make sure I am really in view. Okay, we'll just kind of keep that right about there. Okay, we are good to go. So the first 
project I want to show you guys is a simple note card. So I kind of had Mother's Day in mind. And I will tell you, thank you, Philomena. I'm glad you like those cards. Where's my stamp set? So I think I won this Dressed to Impress stamp set way back in November when we went to On Stage with Stampin' Up. And I was kind of like, Oh, you know, again, I was like, I'm not a big like perfume lipstick shoe girl. So it's cute. But I was like, oh, uh, you know, I don't know. It was it was fine. But this is one of those sets that has completely grown on me as I played with it. And as I've seen other people, you know, posting fun projects online. Um, so I had to, of course, get the dies that go with the stamp set, which are this is a huge set of dies too. oops. These are called the all dressed up dies, and I'm going to show you because I actually have, <coughs> excuse me, two sheets. Like, look at all of these. So this makes the fun um, purse or backpack that you guys have seen. There's the shoe, a little label, the um, perfume, flower, another flower, some cute buttons, the buckles you see on the purses. Those are the straps. Um, this one is a little um, label, and then the lipstick too. Yes, for granddaughters and young teens. Yes, you're right, Sally. I think I was just thinking like, oh, like I'm not that drawn to it, but a lot of people really could be and are. And like I said, the more I played with it, the more I kind of like really fell in love with the idea of it all too. Like it made me want to be girly even, you know, more because I'm not that girly, right? Okay, so sorry if that doesn't make any sense. Um, okay, but let me show you. The other fun thing is that I use the note cards. So this is one of our scalloped note cards and then the cute little coordinating envelope, right? With the little scallop edge on it either. Yeah, you weren't so much either there, Sally. Okay, hold on. <coughs> Water and mint time. I don't know what my problem is today, ladies. It just is what it is. And I got this huge piece of, so I'm eating candy cane when I say mint. <laughs> I still have candy canes left, ladies. Mm, okay, so well, this is what I wanted to show you. Actually, this is kind of cute. This is one of the pillow gifts that my friend Melissa made for everybody that came to our weekend retreat. So she put that cute little, I can't thank you enough, little slip over there. And then these are the other. So this is the one in Old Olive. And then we also have note cards that come in... Let me check my notes. Yep, this is terracotta tile. Ooh, and you know what, you guys? This would actually, I think, work really well with our new designer series paper, that ornate garden, right? Because one coordinating color is terracotta tile. Another one is old olive. And then this one is balmy blue that I bet you could get it to work with it, right? So there are those three colors. And then there's a real pale pink, like a petal pink that we're gonna use on another project I'm gonna show you in a few minutes. But super cute, right? So they've got the envelopes that match all of the colors, right? So you got the scalloped note cards, scalloped envelopes. So we're gonna use Old Olive on this one. And okay, so let me scoot that envelope out of the way there too. Let's get our ink pads out. We used a few, I think that was what was kind of fun about it was I used so many, there were so many pretty colors that you could use with this too. So, okay, let's do our stamping on this. And then we will do our die cutting. Okay, so we're gonna start with, this is a gray granite. <laughs> oh, Sally, don't cough. I know, I know, That's I was saying that last week. Um, and I'm not sick, that's the weird thing. It's just like dry, dry throat when I get on my Facebook Lives. Again, from talking a lot. Okay, so smoky slate for the perfume bottle, right? And then let's see, where's my card? Then we're gonna use, uh, actually let's stamp the little flower too, okay. So we're gonna stamp our little flower right there. We'll get that one going there. Also in the smoky slate. No, this is gray granite. Did I say smoky slate? I used gray, gray granite. Now we are gonna use petal pink on the inside. And this is just the little, let me bring this back in here. Oh, there's like adhesive. There's sticky on there. That's not very nice, right? So we're going to use this little swooshy thing to kind of stamp over. So just kind of nice, easy tap, tap, tap. And what I did was I kind of, I went over it again. Because when I did it the first time, it, it didn't cover enough. So then I 
stamped it again just a little bit just to give a little hint down at the bottom there okay then same idea with this time we are going to use let's do mm, let's do this one first so we have so saffron ink for our flower so we have these little smudgies so this smudgy and this smudgy and one of them actually well, they can be used on the flowers and they can be used on the top of the lipstick too. So I am going to just add my So Saffron and I kind of just stamped around just to, I thought it kind of gave it like, gived it, excuse me, it gave it like a little bit of kind of a watercolor look there, right? So we just did that one on the flower and then we're gonna come back to our mint macaron and then we're just gonna kind of stamp again just watercolor washing almost and then that'll fill it in right when we go to um, die cut it okay last thing that we're going to stamp is in old olive we want our happy mother's day because i've been starting to think about mother's day cards right here's our it's like we're it'll be here before we know it so we might as well get started on our happy mother's day in old olive ink that was okay now, I am going to clean all of these stamps because I think I need a few of them. And I'm afraid if I set them aside, I will forget to clean them. So we're just going to clean all of them. So you can see I've got my little chamois here. Love, love, love the chamois. I think I've done almost all of these, right? Okay, and the Fufum bottle. There we go. Okay, now let's do our die cutting. Okay, you guys can still see what we're doing. You can even see my card there, good. I wasn't sure if I moved that so far out of view that you couldn't see it. Okay, so we have our die cutting machine. I have my magnetic platform, one clear plate, my paper. I'm gonna add my dies and I'll get those where I want them in a moment. I'm just trying to make sure. So this is the little label that we're gonna put on this one. These moved around. I gotta look at that for a sec. Make sure we're good to go. And now the trick will be that hopefully none of these move. Die cut numbers of things that all need to be lined up really well. One of them kind of inevitably, inevitably like wings off of <laughs> where you want it to be but I think I might have gotten lucky. So this is kind of a cute one too, because there's stitching. Can you guys see a little stitching around there? So this is a great little label. So I love that they're doing that too. They've got the, you know, all the pieces that coordinate with the stamp set, and then they've got just a nice little label. It'll be like a little label punch almost that you could use for lots of things. Oops, we're just gonna leave those right there because I think we need both of those again later. Okay. Remind me when I'm scrambling looking for them, that's where they are. Okay, now let's see. Oh, the only other thing I wanted to show you guys was this piece right there. I already die cut this, so I figure you guys don't need to watch all of these, right? But these are the stitched nested labels dies, and it is the, if that's the biggest, so one, two, three, it's the fourth largest die in there is the one that cut that one. And again, you can see it cuts the stitching. You guys see that around the edge of that from the stitched nested labels dies. And again, I'll have all of the uh, products, everything that we used on these on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon. Okay, so here, this is one of my all time favorite um, designer series paper, this uh, pattern in the best dress designer series paper. This is super cute too, right? The little polka dots. I can see this would be great for like a baby card, I bet, right? So this DSP measures three inches by four and three quarters. And we're just going to add this right on to our little old olive note card. So these are already scored and they've got the cute little scallops on them. So it could go like that or it could go like that. I left it kind of portrait orientation. Is that, I don't know, or is that, is that landscape? That's landscape, I guess. I'm thinking of like my copier. <laughs> okay, then we are gonna just add some adhesive on our stitched nested label die. 
and we're going to put that right about there. Now we are going to add some dimensionals behind these. So pretty. I think I loved kind of that watercolor feel that all of these things had also. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to just peel these little babies off. Oh, I'm seeing Sally. Oh, oh, Sally. He's not been feeling well, huh? Oh, I see. And she told him not to cough. <laughs> That's funny because then he would get her sick too. Aw. That's cute. The minds of babes, right? Okay, so then this little flower. And you can see how it didn't have to be perfect. That's the kind of cool part about that, um, you know, the idea of kind of a watercolor look, right? Okay, so last step. I'm running low on these too. These are the basic adhesive back sequins. So I got just a few. These are like a petal pink color. They have the um, glue dot behind them. So you just need to peel off and get the glue dot underneath there. And I put one there. So you guys can see that's just kind of a cute, simple, easy little Mother's Day card that of course, where's my envelope, has that I snuck it away, right? The coordinating envelope with the little scallops. Isn't that so cute? I'll show you the full pack too. These are, they come, this is a full pack of them. I've opened it up a little bit, but so you get um, 40 note cards and envelopes. So it's 20 of each. So it's kind of funny how they do that. 20 envelopes, 20 cards. So there are Four different colors, so you get five of each color. So you can kind of see it a little bit better there. The balmy blue, um, I think that's petal pink, old olive and terracotta tile. Miss Carolyn, hello, how are you doing? I'm glad you can join us. Okay, so there is uh, one version of a Mother's Day card that you could make with that cute little, there's something about the little scallops on the envelope. I just love that. Okay, so that's one. Now let me show you. Okay, let's see. I know I need some of these ink colors. Maybe I need most all of them. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out, ladies. I know I can do it, though. Okay, so here. So this is like the stepped up version. of. So this is kind of the simple version, right, with just a little bit of stamping and die cutting. And then this one we went a little bit crazier with. Like, look at all of the detail and all the fun. I'm going to show you. There are some fun techniques that we use, especially like coloring the tassels, right? Okay, so let me show you how I made this one. Okay, let's get some. We're going to do some stamping. That is for our die cutting there, okay? Those. <clears throat> Oh my goodness. Okay, so I have like 40,000 ink pad colors. So if I have daffodil delight, I'm not gonna need the so saffron. Um, I did use old olive, I used, yeah, I think, oh my gosh, yeah. So guys, I used a ton of ink pad colors on this one. But we're gonna just go step by step and I will show you what we used where. Okay, so we're gonna start again with our gray granite ink and we are gonna stamp kind of the outlines of everything, okay? So I gotta be strategic about where I make sure I have enough room. You guys can see that, right? Yeah, it's funny, the comments are kind of in the way, so I, I'm like, I can't see it there. Okay, we'll do that one. Okay, so we did the lipstick. We are going to do the perfume bottle again in the gray granite. And oh, I've got a couple more here. Then we need both sets of flowers. Okay, so we're gonna do the two petal, or two flowers, two, and then the one. So that's it, I think, other than my happy Mother's Day. Okay, so I think that's good with our gray granite ink. So that's just kind of the outline. And when you do that lighter outline, then it looks a little more like the, it kind of just watercolor fades in and out from the stamped image, I would say. Okay, now we are going to, let's, do our lipstick first. So we used mint macaron and this stamp, I'll show you. Let's see, we'll put that over there. So this little wash kind of thing is going to go right inside there. So <laughs> thank you, Anna. I was kind of excited about this color combo too. Okay, so our mint macaron, 
And we're just gonna kinda stamp that right on there. So you see, again, it's just this watercolory wash type of look there, right? Okay, so we've got that one. Now we're gonna use our petal pink on the top part. We're gonna use, so this is one of the smudgies. I used this one right there to go on the top. So that's gonna fill that in really well. And it kind of goes over the edges and then when you cut it, um, it'll, it just kind of cuts around it, okay? And I actually used that one a couple of times. So I am gonna wanna clean that one off before I forget, so let's do that real quick. I'll just keep this right here because I used it quite a few times. Um, so let's do our flowers next. Um, so we're going to use Lovely Lipstick. And this time, because I think my color went a little bit dark, I'm going to grab a little scrap piece of paper here. I'm going to put that underneath there. So I'm going to ink this up, and I'm going to stamp it off. And then I'm going to, and I like that better already. Okay, so we're going to ink it up. And then we're going to stamp a little bit there. Ink it up, stamp it off. And this one I want to do too. Ink it up, stamp it off. We're gonna go on that side there. So I can see a little bit more of the detail on my flowers, okay? So that was with Lovely Lipstick on my flowers. And again, I'm gonna clean this just in case I need it. Stamp it off there, okay? Um, what is next? So now let's do the leaves. And we're gonna do those actually in Old Olive ink, okay? So yeah, such a pretty color combination. Now the leaves, I'm gonna use, this is the Littler Smudge. So that little guy right there is that one. Okay, and so I just ink that up just a little bit and I'm just gonna kinda of stamp right over where my leaves are. I wonder if I stamped off, cause that looks a little bit dark now. We're gonna stamp off again on that one. There, okay. And what else do we need? Okay, now let's do our perfume bottle, okay? So this is Daffodil Delight ink. We're gonna use the big smudgy again, this guy. Which way do I like? I think I like that way better. And I am going to stamp that off again because I kind of want a little bit lighter. That's still dark enough, right? Okay, and then last step is our basic gray ink pad we're gonna stamp on the top of our, did I clean that one? Let's let's clean it. I see some green on there. It's not really gonna matter, but okay. So we're gonna get some basic gray ink. I'm gonna stamp that off and then I just wanna put that right on there. So that is it, right? So it looks kind of hodgepodgey on there, but once you put it all together, it is beautiful. All right, we will clean those off later. Don't need to worry about those now. Um, I think that we can do our die cutting. Let's do that. Actually, hold on one moment. We're not gonna do that yet because I want to show you guys, I'm gonna keep this right here. I wanted to show you how I colored. Miss Fran, hello and welcome. This tassel was a white. Where are my, here are my tassels, okay. So they come in, I'm gonna say petal pink, whisper white and uh, pretty peacock. So we're gonna grab one of our white tassels and you can see they, um, on another one, they inked just the bottom half of the tassel. I'm trying to remember how they said they did that, but this one, we're gonna use our blends. So I have a Highland Heather blends marker and it will kind of bleed through because it's a blends, right? And what actually happened was I laid this down on my designer series paper and the ink bled onto the paper. So that's why I wanna do this and let it dry a little bit. So all you're gonna do is like literally color with your blend and you could, you know, it might be kind of fun. Like I was super particular on the other one about trying to get like every little bit of it purple, but I think I might leave, it might be kind of fun to just leave it, you know, so it's not all purple. But you can see, I mean, if you wanna be particular, you just kinda of keep rolling it and trying to add color wherever you, but I kinda of like that, a little more variegated almost. Can you guys see? So that was really simple, right? But we're gonna set this aside and just kinda of let it dry for a little bit. So you can make those white ones whatever color you want them to be, okay? So we're gonna set that up there. Gonna to have to grab another drink of water. And, okay, let's do our die cutting now. We can put all of this together. All right, 
so we are so we've got our perfume maybe I can fit I was trying to figure out if I left enough room for my um, square on there too and I think I might have let's see We'll check that in a sec. So I need this one and I need this one. So we're going to do the lipstick and then the two flowers. Um. Oh yeah, on the satin ribbon. Yes, you can color that. You're right, Sally, which I never think to do. I think because I get, you know, I'm like, oh, my hands are going to get all dirty. But, you know, gosh, it's not like you can't just wash them, right? Okay, so getting those all set on there to see if that one is lined up it's good enough and even if it's not that's kind of the cool part about this is it'll still work so these are the stitched shape dies so we have the if I can flip it over the circles and the ovals on one side and we're going to use the largest square with the stitching around it okay and I think is that going to fit well we'll try it if it doesn't I'll cut another one because I want my perfume bottle that's like super close to the edge We'll see if that works or not. Okay, where's the other? Okay, don't tell me. Oh, we're over here. <laughs> I was like, did I put all of that on top of two of these things? And I was going to have to pull one off and start all over because you know that could happen, right? Okay, sorry with the wiggle wiggle there. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> and Sally lets her kids decorate the shoelaces. <laughs> yeah, you might be getting carried away. Okay, good. So that one worked. So there's our scallop square, right? And then we've got our perfume and our lipstick. I'm just going to kind of pull all these off and then our flowers. Okay, so we'll put those down there too. Okay, let's get this out of the way. All right, so let me give you guys some dimensions and so on and actually show you so here's more of our pretty best dressed designer series paper like I said this is one of my favorite patterns I love those big flowers and then this is beautiful too this is purple posy on this side and then we've got a piece of so this is kind of petal pink and then the makeup the little lipstick and mascara all kinds of good stuff there right and then the petal pink isn't this so cute so we've got the petal pink note card with the cute little scallop envelope, right? Love, 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 love that, okay? Ooh, you know what, I forgot to do my Mother's Day. We'll have to do that in a sec. I'm just looking at that, realizing it. Anyway, that's okay. So again, this piece measures three inches by four and three quarters. And then our other piece of designer series paper measures two inches by four and one quarter inches. Oh, kids are here. Okay, yeah, I, I, I knew they were here because I heard Cade's car like thumping when it pulled in the driveway. Yeah, that's how we're like, oh, Kate's home. Because we hear the bass thumping, basically. So, you guys want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> Lily, come wave <laughs> down that's here. So that's so my weird. Oh my gosh, Mom, that's so that's weird. <laughs> all right, anyway, sorry, guys. Um, Let's do our, we got to, huh? now I'm all sorry. Let me get my head back on my shoulders here. We need to stamp because I forgot. With my pretty peacock ink, let's stamp our Happy Mother's Day and get this one die cut with our cute little label. So, oops, I did not ink that up very well, did I? Okay. There we go. We have our Happy Mother's Day. And, oh my goodness, we got to get all these dies off of here. See, I thought it was so cool and I had this all done and then not quite. So in case you guys are wondering where they were, because all of a sudden I'm like, oh yeah, they're probably like, where did they go? So my kids go back and forth very regularly, just like the kids and the dogs between my house and their dad's house. So that's actually been kind of nice for them that they can, you know, while they're sheltering at home, they have two homes to go back and forth to. So, and it's also handy for them. They're like, who's making the better dinner? <laughs> and then they decide where they're going to have dinner. <laughs> so, you know, it all works. Okay, and there is our Happy Mother's Day, right? So cute. Okay, now we're done with all of our cutting. Okay, now I think, can we put everything together? Because I told you about dimensions and everything. Yeah, let's, okay, so we're going to add this piece of DSP to our super cute little 
scallop note card, the petal pink one. Okay, and then we are gonna add, I love the back of this paper too. Beautiful. You're going on a bike ride? Okay, all right, be safe. Let's put that one right there. Okay, now what are we gonna do? Now we're gonna add some ribbon. I'm trying to remember like the steps because there's a lot going on with this. I think it's easiest to just run some adhesive just like that. And then we're gonna kind of tack that down, keeping in mind, actually maybe I'll even put, let's put some dimensionals on this one. Okay, and let me think about that. So I need to make room because on this one I didn't leave enough room to put my tassel behind there, so I'm gonna scoot that one up, not totally in the corner. But my point of this was I want to, because originally when I did this, um, I didn't show enough, if you know what I mean. So you kind of want to have what you're working with, be able to see it, so you can kind of loop and tack it and make sure like you've you have enough that you can actually see it because otherwise you loop it back there and then nobody can even see it and what's the point of that right okay so we're going to trim that one off right there okay so that looks good because then you can kind of see just a little bit of that ribbon peeking out right so we're going to peel our dimensionals off of this one and maybe that can go right about there right now where is, okay, let's do our little our little tassel here, right? So isn't that so cute? We need, we're gonna put a mini glue dot on this glue dot. Sorry, I get so excited talking about these things, right? Okay, so we've got our mini glue dot right here. We're gonna kind of slip this. This is what I was talking about. I put that um, dimensional back up underneath there. My glue dot's kind of sticking before I can get it where I want, but I think that looks good. If we put that maybe right about there, right? Then we need, let's see, we're gonna just put some adhesive on our lipstick. So you can see this is just so much, there's so much fun detail to it. Okay, then we're gonna actually put some dimensionals behind these guys too. So a perfect Mother's Day card. And actually, let's do this one also, right? I'm trying to see. Do I have them all up on dimensionals? I think I do, right? Okay, so the little perfume bottle can go maybe right there. And then we'll add some of the flowers. This one goes down there. Yeah, I like it a little bit lighter. I like this. The colors being a little bit lighter there, right? Okay. And one last step, of course, we just have to add a little bit of bling. We're gonna add a few pearls and just pop these on maybe there and there. And I think that's it, I'm looking, I'm like, okay, we got the tassel, we got the ribbon. Oh, where's my Mother's Day? I knew, I was like, I feel like I'm missing something. That's what I'm missing. There we go. And then we're just gonna put our Happy Mother's Day right on there. And there you have it, again, with another super cute little note card, scallop note card, the petal pink note card, an envelope, right? Love, I love those envelopes. So, shoo, okay, serious crafter math here, but that is okay, because we had a fabulous time today, right? So, quick recap, let me just pull down my host code. I wasn't able to print my little thingy the way I normally do so that's okay though you guys I think know the drill right so if you put your online order in of at least $30 this week using the new host code the x9m4r36q so shop at stampinup.com put your order in at the end put the host code in it's down kind of in the bottom left corner when you go to check out you are going to get both of these cards either fully put together cards or if you want the make and takes you can have that that way too. You would just need the stamp set and the dies to do your own stamping and die cutting. Um, let's see what else. Oh, if you bump your order up to $50, you are going to choose from either a pack of a free pack of the gilded gems or 
the 16 Project Demo Design Dream Team PDF Tutorial. You get all of this for free when you order through me. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you were ink inspired today. I hope you enjoyed these projects as much as I did showing them to you. And thank you guys. And Diana, thank you for sharing. And thank you, Philomena. So you guys have a great weekend. I hope everyone is doing okay. Sheltering at home. Hopefully the sun is shining where you are and you can get outside and get some fresh air because it definitely does us good, doesn't it? So thank you guys. Have a great weekend and we will see you next Friday. Bye everybody.